Coming up on this week's edition of Bulldog Broadcast, Daniel brings us the latest on gun control in New Mexico. Then Mia informs us of the actions we can take to stop the decline of bees. Later, Hannah shows us the effects of social privileges as we participate in the Privilege Walk. Today is Saturday, February 27, 2016, and BBC starts now. Good afternoon, Crazy 8 practice participants and judges, and welcome to this vivacious edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Kendall Anderson. And I'm Naomi SJ. Today we're filming in front of the Oregon Mountains, a resilient backdrop, recreational zone, and defining landmark of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Stay tuned for this effervescent episode of Bulldog Broadcast. This country was built on simplicity and the ability to change. However, there are a few key tenets that are unwavering. The Second Amendment reads that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. This amendment has been scrutinized since the 1920s, and despite discourse among the people of the United States, the amendment has remained strong. Reporter Daniel Salinas dove deep into differing opinions to bring us more on gun control and freedom in Las Cruces. Barely within two months of being in 2016, around 1,803 U.S. citizens have been murdered in incidents involving a firearm. Here in New Mexico, you do not need a state-issued permit to purchase a firearm. I headed over to a local gun store, Striker Shooting World, to ask the business manager how he feels about selling weapons to people without a permit. And while he says he thinks it's an unconstitutional thing to need a permit to buy a firearm, he describes how people who sell guns legally prevent guns from falling into the wrong hands. This is where the national, uh, the, the FBI's national instant criminal background check system has been updated. Um, in fact, even in the past couple months, we've seen quite a bit more people either being delayed in their background checks or denied outright for various reasons. Uh, but generally, when somebody is prohibited from purchasing a firearm, it is almost always due to some sort of criminal history in their background. Now, while you don't need a permit here in New Mexico to buy a firearm, there are still laws and regulations one must follow in order to have one. Yet some people believe that there should be more guidelines and rules in order to prevent gun-related tragedies. I think we should be doing a lot more than we are. We need to make sure that we have background checks. And also there's so much technology that's being developed to make it safer. Reporting for Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Daniel Salinas. Thanks, Daniel. Wow, Naomi, I can't get over this incredible landscape. Well, we have the bees to thank for that. Bees are pollinators and are responsible for 90% of our wild vegetation survival. They also create a delicious and versatile nectar, honey. Mia Tontadinati brings us more on this product and its resilient little makers. Working like a busy bee is saying that exemplifies the tough character of these tiny creatures who have existed for millions of years. However, this resilient species is now facing a threat that many scientists worry they won't bounce back from. Bees contribute to the growth of our agricultural society, which is worth $577 billion each year. But scientists have sounded off the alarm. Bees are dying at a rapid rate. Beekeepers first noticed the decline of their colonies in the late 1990s, and since then there has been a 45% drop in the U.S. We spoke with Gordon Solberg, a hometown beekeeper, who elaborates more on the actions we can take to stop the decline. Looking at the larger picture, what can we as a society do would be to find alternatives to all these poisons and things. <laughs> grow, you know, grow things more organically for starters. Bees might just seem like pesky creatures, but they do a lot more than just give us delicious honey. They're an integral part of our food system, and people are working to ensure they have the best environment. For Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Mia Tonto Donati. Thanks, Mia. It's crucial to be aware of our ecosystem and support it so that it can support us. It's also easy to take for granted the privilege we have in our life whether it be the clothes on our back or our right to free speech. 14.5% of Americans lived below the poverty line last year, compared to the 50% of people living below the poverty line worldwide. Reporter Hannah Vanderkoy hosts an experiment to show how different traits affect one's social standing. Being able to have access to things that other people around the world don't. Something that you actually need, but nobody, like, not everyone has when you have something that other people don't have access to, and it's something that you really don't imagine not having. Privilege. 
a special right, advantage, or immunity granted only available to a particular person or group of people. The Privilege Walk is designed to visualize the effect of privilege in everyday society. We asked a series of questions pertaining to privileges and disadvantages. Each person took a step forward or a step back if the question applied to them. I really was put into perspective of how privileged I was and that's what was going through my head is that I have all these privileges that I didn't even know I had and it just really shed light on everything that I thought took for granted. It's just really frustrating that you know my peers and my friends and my classmates have not had the same privileges that I have had. If you are embarrassed about your clothes or house while growing up, take one step back. My overall feelings are that, that we were raised in the same city and we go to the same school. All of the experiences in our lives have put us in a certain place and it has showed us that we are not all the same. Thanks, Hannah. Wow, Naomi, that was a crazy eight hours. Yes, it was, but our perseverance and willpower carried us all the way to the finish line. I'm Naomi S.J. And I'm Kendall Anderson. We hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you at STN.